Hello and welcome back to another episode of Math with Sone. Today, we are going to be learning about the sum or total amount of angles inside a triangle and sometimes on the outside. Let's get into it. So a triangle, any triangle, not just special ones, but all triangles, if you add up every single angle, their measurements will always add to equal 180 degrees. That is 100% all the time. And then there's this other theorem that is the exterior angle theorem. Now that one's a little different because this one angle, specifically angle one, is on the outside of the triangle. And if that is the case, then the two other angles that are not like attached and hinged to angle one, see how these two other angles are apart and away from angle one? They're on the opposite side of the triangle. They're like, I don't wanna get near one. Those two angles will add, if you add angle one, two and angle three, these two angles, they will always add to equal this one singular exterior angle. So that is the exterior angle theorem. We're gonna try a few simple problems at first and then we're gonna get a little more complicated. So this first problem, we just have two angles and we wanna find the third. Well, three angles in a triangle add to equal 180. So all we have to do is take 180 and take away the 24 and the 37 and that would get us what is left over, which would be in this case, angle one. So I'm gonna take 180 and I'm just gonna take away 24 and 37. And when I do that, I get 119. So apparently this angle right here is 119 degrees. Number two, on the other hand, this time we're not looking for the inside angle, that's the interior angle, we're looking for the exterior. So the two angles that are as far away from angle one on the inside, they will add to equal the 80, uh, to equal angle one. So we're gonna add 76 and 52 together, and we get 128. So that means angle one is 128 degrees. Number three is another exterior angle problem. But on number three, it's a little bit different because we, we're missing the inside part, not the outside part. But we do know that the inside part and both of those inside parts would have to add to equal 104. So you could call angle 1x. So I'm calling angle 1x and 79. What do I have to add with 79 to get to equal 104? So all I have to do to do this problem is just subtract 79 and I'll get angle one. So whatever 104 minus 79 is, would be my answer. And in this case, that is 25 degrees. And that is because 25 and 79 add to equal 104. The next few problems are taking the same concept, but we're just adding a little bit more to it. So instead of just finding one angle, we might have to use what we find to get some of the others. So we're gonna, we gotta find three angles. So this is really just three problems put into one. It is nothing to get intimidated by. It is more something to recognize that inside this one problem, there is actually one, two, and three triangles. You got the little one on the left, the medium one on the right, and then this overwhelming big one all the way around. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just find the part that looks the easiest. So find what has the most information. And what has the most information to me that stood out the most is this little triangle right here. If I wanna find out angle one, all I need to do is take away 66 and 84 away from 180. So I'm gonna do that, 180 minus 66 and minus 84, that would get me angle one. 180 minus 66 and 84, that would get me apparently 30 degrees, which is nice. So that means this little part right here is 30 degrees. Okay, what other information do we have a lot of? Well, we have a, um, a lot on this big triangle right here. There's 66 here and 43 there. So on this big, big triangle, I essentially have 66 and 43 already. I can find out that missing part, which would be angle one and angle two put together. So I have 66 and 43. I could find out this bigger part for angle one and angle two put together by just taking the 66 and 43 away from 180. 
180 minus 66 and minus 43 is 71. So if this whole thing right here is 71 degrees and it's 30 on angle one side, angle two would have to be 41 to make 71. 30 and 41 make 71. So now I got angle two. The next thing I want to figure out is angle three, and now I have everything I need to figure that out, and I could have done it differently as well. I could have, now that I look at this, looked right here. That's a straight line. Straight lines add to 180. So we have three or four different options at this point. We could either take away the 41 and the 43 from 180, or I could just take the 84 and subtract from 180 as well. 180 minus 84 is 96. So I could have done that to begin with. I could also take the 41 and the 43 away from 180 and get the same 96. Moving on. I am going to do number six now. So for number six, this one's actually a lot easier than the previous problem. You have a vertical angle for part two. For angle two, it is going to be the same as 61 because it is a vertical angle. So I know that this part is 61 degrees. And now that I know that's 61 degrees, I can find angle three out because that's a triangle right there. We got 90 and we have 61. So what's the missing part? What's angle three? Just take them away from 180. 180 minus 61 and the 90. If we do that, we are going to get 29 degrees left over for angle three. Just subtract them from 180. Same thing for angle one. I got to take the 61 and the 68 away from 180 to figure out angle one. 180 minus 61 and 68 away from 180. Minus 61 and 68 is apparently 51 degrees. So angle one is 51 degrees. All right. I am moving on to the back side of this page now to do a little bit of problems that involve some algebra. So if it involves algebra, that just means this problem became a little more annoying. And that is the case with all of these right here. So I'm on the back, I got 9x plus 3, I got a 5x minus 2 and an 11x minus 21. Those are all three angles in a triangle. And if those are all the three angles in a triangle, then we have to add all every single one of these things up to equal 180 degrees. So I put a plus sign in between all three of these things. I did 9x plus 3 plus 5x minus 2 plus the 11x minus 21 equals 180. I added all of them up to equal 180, and now I just have an annoying equation to solve. I'm going to combine a lot of like terms here. So buckle up. We got 9x combining with 11x and 5x. And I'm going to do this strategically because I know that 9 and 11 make 20. So if I add 9 and 11 and I get 20, then I add another 5, I end up with 25x. Then I'm going to have to add the 3, the negative 2, and the negative 21 together. And I'm also going to do that strategically. I'm going to do 3 and negative 2, which is 3 minus 2, and get 1. 1 minus 21 gets me negative 20. So 3 minus 2 is 1, minus 21 makes another negative 20, and that equals 180 degrees. So all that, all I did was just add these three things together. I combined all my x's, I combined all my numbers, and I equaled it to 180. I'm going to now solve the equation by adding 20 to both sides, and I would get 25x equals 200. When I divide 25, or 200 by 25, I get 8. So once I have 8, now all I have to do is find angle D, E, and F. Well, D, E, and F is just going to be a lot of number crunching because all I have to do to do that is plug in 8 for every single angle. So I'm going to start with angle D. It says 5 times 8 minus 2. That is 40 minus 2, which is 38. 40 minus 2 is 38. 
Then I'm going to plug in the 8 for angle E. 9 times 8 plus 3 is 72 plus 3. 72 plus 3 is 75. And now from here, you got options. You could either take the two angles that we do know away from 180, or you can just plug in 8 for the x. I think it's going to be a little bit easier in this case to plug in 8 for x. 11 times 8 is 88 minus 21 is 88 minus 21. I don't want to do it. It's 67 degrees. And we have our three answers that we needed. The next problem that I plan on doing is number 14. So number 14, this one is a same sort of triangle problem, but instead of trying to find the inside angle, we want to find what x is, and we have an outside angle. So if it has an outside angle, we need to use the triangle exterior angle theorem, which is going to mean that we add these two together to equally one outside angle. So you add the insides, 3, 13x minus 11, and the 4x plus 1, add the two inside parts to equal the outside. And the outside, the exterior angle, is 18x minus 15. So I combined these two together to equal the outside part. Now we have to combine like terms and solve our equation. So we're going to combine 13x and 4x together. They make 17x. Negative 11 and 1 together would make minus 10 equals 18x minus 15. From here, you have options. My personal opinion would say it's easier to subtract the smaller number. So I am going to subtract 17x, not combine it, because I'm moving from left side of the equal sign to the right side. I get negative 10 equals 1x minus 15. And then I have to add 15 to get what x is, because that would get my x by itself. So negative 10 plus 15 is equal to 5. So if 1x is equal to 5, x is equal to 5. And from here, I'm just going to plug in x everywhere I see. I'm going to plug in an x right here for angle B, which is angle CAB. Actually, let's find out angle CAB first. CAB is this angle right here. So CAB, we got to go from C to A to B. I'm going to plug in the 5 for x there. 13 times 5 minus 11. 13 times 5 equals minus 11. Thirteen times 5 minus 11 is 54. Sorry, some calculator issues there. 54. Then I am going to plug it in for angle ABC. So ABC is here. And we have angle B in the middle because that is the middle point. So we have to do 4 times 5 plus 1. I don't need a calculator for that. 4 times 5 is 20 plus 1 is 21. ACB, well, this part mm, we, we got to think about because if it's 21 here and 54 there, I can do a few things to find angle ACB. I could plug in X and find the BCD part first, but... I could very easily take these two numbers and subtract them from 180 to find that part, the other missing part of my triangle. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do 180 and subtract the 54 and the 21 from it. So 180 minus 54 minus 21 is 105. So that means that this angle right here is 105 degrees, this part right here. If that's 105, then angle ACB is 105. I could plug in x in to find this angle right here, the last one we need to find, DCB, but I could also recognize that as a straight line. Straight lines add to 180. I can take away the 105 from 180 to get this part right here, and 105 taken away from 180 is 75. If I plug in 5, I would also get the same thing. 18 times 5 is 90 minus 15 gets me 75. So both answers get me the 75. That's going to do it for this episode. It was a little bit of a long one, but everybody have a great day, and I will see everybody later. Bye.